An unwavering commitment to safety is at the heart of everything CF Industries does. It keeps our plants running efficiently. It ensures our customers have the products they need. And most importantly, it gets our people home safely at the end of each day. That's what the Stephen R. Wilson Excellence in Safety Award is all about. This is our way of recognizing those locations that strive for excellence by cultivating the very best safety practices and culture. Our commitment begins with a simple phrase, do it right. This means doing more than just avoiding injuries. It means our employees take charge of their well-being as well as that of their coworkers and community every day. Do It Right encourages a culture of safety excellence where all employees are engaged in the process, innovative in their approach, and empowered to do it right every time. That's exactly what this year's Wilson Award finalists have done. They demonstrated their commitment to safety innovation and to do it right. We've got a $2 billion plant expansion project. We've identified that we're going to add double the staff at the plant. We have approximately 240 employees, and approximately half of those have been hired here over the last 18 months. And we start out by hiring good people who want to be a part of our safety program and want to do the job right. If they get the second interview, then I give them a tour, and I ask questions about uh, how they feel about their personal safety. And my job is to train the new people coming on board. The old training was you went on a crew and that crew trained you. It used to be one crew might do a good job, the other crew not quite so good. The training program we have now, they normally spend around three months with us. Everybody gets the same training. Same safety orientations, the same hazard IDs, you name it. And you're red too, right there. With the uh, safety immersion program, where they spend the first couple of weeks in an actual classroom learning about the plant. So when we bring them into the plant, they're comfortable with the environment, they're comfortable with the known hazards and the required PPE. Uh, we've integrated the safety training along with the actual plant training. Day one, they're a trainee, but day two, they're part of the team, and we expect them to own safety along with the rest of us and watch out for each other and make sure that we operate safely each and every day. I actually take them out and walk down every system, usually starting with the ammonia system. And I start with the safety part of it, where the nearest safety showers are, the emergency escape mask. The safety immersion programs helped everybody immensely. The new guys come on board, they ask questions. And the ones that's been here a while, they answer the question. Well, I was very excited to come to CF. First, they meet us at the gate, take us into the training room. First thing that they said when we sat down, safety is our number one priority, and we started from there. The first day that I came in, I was introduced to their uh, computer-based training program and a lot of the focus during that training was to learn the process overviews, to know what products lie in what process areas as a basis for safety. So once you got into the actual safety training modules such as lockout, tagout, you were kind of thinking where would this apply to in the process plan. It definitely built my confidence because if you're not introduced to it and don't understand it, they can be scary to some people, but I felt very confident, especially knowing that you know they're gonna stress how important safety is. The key to the success of our program is the two trainers. There are long history with the plant, understanding the hazards. They were able to really communicate real life experiences to really hopefully hit home with those trainees. Last year we had several really bad storms that came through. We lost all power. The new trainees had to be involved in startups, shut down during those emergency times and did it safely without any incidents. We feel our plant's safer. We have more well-trained operators in the plant. We've recently operated six years without a lost time injury and one year without a reportable injury, which is significant. This program is very sustainable with the support of uh, corporate leadership, management. I believe we'll be able to sustain this for the foreseeable future. And then we have, we have people that are going to be leaving within the next two years that they have to replace with new young guys coming in that all have to be trained and they should all have the opportunity to have the training that these new people have had. 
to start people off right and to get them safety orientated and to teach them right so they all get the same training instead of depending on a crew that some might lack a little bit. CF's gonna be here for a long time. I think they need a training supervisor at every plant. This safety initiative can be transferred to other plants for sure. While our sites might not have had the expectation to hire as many people as we do, taking this approach to another site for operator recertification training, uh, refresher training, new hire training, one I think is transferable. At CF Industries. At CF Industries. We do it right. We do it right. CF Industries couldn't be where it is today, or where we want to be tomorrow, without our people living a culture of safety excellence. As this year's Wilson Award finalists demonstrate, our culture of safety excellence is alive and well, and getting stronger every day. At CF Industries, we do it right.